This is Bruce Bishop for ChronicleT.com. We're at the headquarters of the Bendix Commercial Vehicle Systems with Mark Bennett. Mark, if you could tell us a little bit about what you do here at Bendix. I'm a systems engineer, um, most specifically on brake systems, but any safety systems that could be on primarily heavy trucks, so 18-wheelers or uh, school buses or anything you would think of as a big truck uh, involved with the systems engineering of uh, those systems. And what would you say is the best thing about your chosen career field? Um, the, the best thing about engineering, I think, is it, it provides a very flexible platform. You, you can get into business uh, from an engineering uh, background. You can stay in a very technically focused background. Um, you can be a grad student and a researcher or more of a working engineer where you're just doing problem solving. You can get into management if you want. Um, many engineers launch uh, entrepreneurial careers, so I, I think the flexibility of the engineering background is, is probably the best thing about it. Mm -hmm. And if you wanted to recruit someone into that career, what would you say? How would you convince them that it's a good thing to do? Um, I, I don't know if this is answering the question, but I, I think it's important to remember that um, an engineer doesn't have to sit and do math problems all day. In fact, most of them do not. So. It, it's broader than that, it's more problem solving oriented. So if you are the type of person who's interested in solving problems, um, engineering is something you should take a look at. You don't think of it as uh, sitting down and doing calculus all day, that's, that's a pretty small minority of the people that, uh, that actually do engineering. So for someone considering the field, if you have a natural interest in how things work, and making them work better, um, if you're the type of person that scribbles out designs on napkins, uh, you might be a person that's very good for the field. So, you know, when you look around this facility, there's a lot of different things going on. What is it that you do here every day? Uh, the role of a systems engineer is uh, to tie together components. So, um, a, a brake system is made up of a, of a brake pedal and some way of delivering uh, the brake power uh, to the brakes themselves. It's a computer that has to manage how the brakes work. So, a systems engineer is involved with keeping all of those disciplines tied together. And that involves electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, software engineering. And, and a lot of communication uh, between the various people that are uh, deep in those fields or are masters in those fields. So a systems engineer typically has some depth in all of those areas, uh, but he's really chartered with communicating and, and working with those different disciplines to get a, a system that ultimately works the way the customer wants, uh, that is legal by governmental standards and, and meets uh, everybody's requirements that's at the table or has a vested stake in that system. I imagine the outlook's pretty good for people interested in engineering. How, how does it look to you? Yeah, I would say the engineering outlook is, is very good. Um, devices are getting only more and more complex. The, the number of highly engineered products that, that each person owns, whether they be iPods or, or highly functional cell phones, the need for those devices is going to grow. The complexity of those devices is growing. And uh, an engineer is, is um, not what he once was, not a draftsman or somebody with paper tables looking things up with a slide rule. But the natural complexity of these devices uh, requires somebody who um, can behave in a, uh, a broad way with a broad skill set, talk to a broad set of people. Um, but the demand for those types of devices uh, is just is going to drive more demand for engineering or technical type people in general. Mm -hmm. So somewhere out there, there's a kid looking at this and thinking, well, you know, I like to scribble on napkins. That all sounds cool. How do they go about doing it? How does somebody set on the path to become an engineer? Um, the engineering schools are, are pretty good about um, having co-op programs. Companies are good about having summer internships. So here at Bendix, for example, as a high school graduate or a high school senior, uh, you can work here in the summer as a summer intern in the engineering department. Um, you might be thinking you're going to be a music major or an English major at that time, but you can come in and get a flavor for uh, engineering disciplines at that point in your career, I guess, even when you're in high school. Um, but I would encourage anybody to take uh, advantage of any co-ops, internships, apprenticeships. Um, the earlier you get a feel for where you really want to be, the less time you're going to spend in school, which means the less money you're going to spend in school, and, and hopefully the happier you're going to be with whatever career choice you That sounds great. Mark, thanks for taking time to talk to us today, and hopefully you've uh, motivated a young engineer somewhere. Thank you guys, too.